you, Jesus. It's a place of promise. Thank you, Jesus. It's a place of testimony. Written out to the world. We are one big family. We are anointed to preach the gospel. To heal the broken. I say, Ezekiel, thank you, Jesus. Pamela, you welcome on board. Your time has come, Pamela. Every room is open up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you seek God early, you will find God early. Pamela. Deborah Edward, welcome on board. My big bros, brother Deborah Gay Godwin, welcome on board. Jennifer Augusti, welcome on board. Yes, uh, Angelina Benedict Cabe, welcome on board. Amazing Joshua, welcome on board. Larry, Larry uh, Lizzie Graham, welcome on board. Festuna Ojin, Toa, welcome on board. As many watching me right now, keep sharing. You welcome on board. Yes, you are victorious. Your mother is Kokoro. Hallelujah. Nessie Neyewe, welcome on board. Please sorry if I don't pronounce your name very well. We are not giving up. VP. Yeah, Ereta Oji, welcome on board. We are VP. Adela Jesus, my daughter, welcome on board. Your time has come. Tokyo Luwashiye, welcome on board. Lucian Jamilam, your time has come. Welcome on board. Your Etu Jim Ejebo, my daughter, welcome on board. Yes, Mebe Adu, welcome on board. Adelina Dadu, welcome on board. Godwin Debogi, my elder brother, welcome on board. Bless you. Juliet Avest, your mother and Kokoro welcome aboard. We are VP. Please come in, please keep sharing. Please and Elijah welcome aboard. Yes, Pamela, welcome aboard. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you for being again in your presence. And we acknowledge you, blessed Holy Spirit. It's not a day you have made. It will be a day of testimony, a day of joy, a day of seeing only you at work. Lord, we come against every attack of the enemy. While we were sleeping last night, in any way the enemy have come, so, so tears in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will put them right now. We command them to go back to Satan. Whatever our Heavenly Father has not planted in us, let it be our protect this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Boniface, thank you yesterday. Everything was clear, the instrument. God will honor you. The Carol, one in million, your time has come. Obi Ozito, my daughter, your time has come. Owa Justin, your time has come. Yes, Josie Bandy, your time has come. Yeah, I want to hear about the testimony about your daughter. I want to hear that testimony. Let me hear it on Nam. Yes, Josie Bandy, your time has come. Louis Charles Jerry, your time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. I show Sonny, your time has come. No, there's a poor I cannot pronounce very well, but God knows your name more. You know, your time, Jennifer Augustine, your time has come. Anita Detti, your time, data, your time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many watching me now, this is over 20 people watching me all over the world. I say you are next in line for a major breakthrough, for a testimony, for a lot of testimony. Leslie, in Jacob, your time has come. Susan, to be your, uh, to, to, your time has come. Ida Martin, Anna, Kamara, your time has come. Ida Rehab, your time has come. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, please get brain, uh, burn, pour your time has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, as you are getting connected to us this morning, you are, your every is open up for you. Please keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. Your time has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, this morning, Molly Palette, your time has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. First to Edegwe, your time has come. In the mighty, as many that are calling this morning, that are tapping your time, Zoe, media, your time has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. You know, this morning, your know, Frederick Philip, your time has come. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Only to tell the devil and their agent. No matter what you are going through this morning, declare and know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. Declare that to put yourself. I know who I am. I know where I'm seated in Christ. In me, SOJ declare that I know who I am. Frederick declare that I know who I am. Hallelujah. I know who I am. I'm a child of the most a God. I know where I'm, I'm seated, not here. I'm seated in heavenly places far above whatever I am going through now. I am seated in heavenly places. So whatever I am going through now, I am far above it. And in a short term, I will see the head of whatever I am going through. Are you about Ludumare? Yes, your time has come. Evert, uh, um, Scott, your time has come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this your season of supernatural victory. Whatever stop your rising in life, by the power of this anointing, that yoke this morning is that yoke is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare every evil load of affliction that the enemy of my destiny give me to carry while I am sleeping. Let they be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Second King 1 verse 9 to 17 is a locked place, but we shall cut it one by one, one by one, and as we pray along with it. The Bible says that the king said unto him a captain of fifty with his fifty, and he went up to, to him, and behold, he sat on top of an hill. This morning you are sitting on top of an hill. And he spoke unto him, That man of God, the king has said, Come down. Come down. And Elijah has said and said to the captain of fifty. If I be a man of God, then let come down from heaven, let the fire, let let and let the fire come down from heaven and consume thee and the fifty. And there came that fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. That's what will happen this body. God will set fire from heaven and consume every every enemy that is that is planet all. Pull you down, any man, any woman that is that, that, that has taken your matter as the agenda, and the agenda is to pull you down today. God will set fire from above to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 11 said, And again, also, he said unto him, Another captain of fifty with his fifty, and he answered and said unto them, O man of God, that has the King said, Come down quickly. I say, Any man that has vowed that he said, You should come down to poverty, you should come down to be dead, you should come down to affliction, you should come down from for for to consume you. I say, This morning, fire from above is coming down to consume wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee. And that fifteen. Hallelujah. You know, I decree every power resisting your healing, every power resisting your sad head, every power resisting your breakthrough, every power resisting your success in life. 
your divine settlement in marriage. They will receive the fire of God this morning. Fire will come down to consume them as many as they are gathered in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. As I decree that every power sponsor is shame and reproach in your life will be disgraced and be uprooted from your life in the mighty name of Jesus and declare every agent of the devil stealing your blessing. They will stumble and fall and they will rise no more in the name of Jesus as they will so ever working against your, your against you planning to pull you down. As this morning, every will be up, up, every fire will come down from heaven to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is your season of supernatural victory. I decree as God suffered that this season is your season of victory. You cannot walk with God and not be victorious. You cannot walk for God and not be victorious. You cannot identify with this ministry and not a job victory. Hallelujah. Someone is watching me right now. God said, I should tell you that your season of victory began right now. In the name of Jesus, your season of victory began right now. Your season of fruitfulness began right now. Your season of miracle began right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I mean right now. If you're that person, shout a mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God will serve this morning. Uh, say to yourself, say to yourself, I know who I am. I know who I am. Elijah knew, Elijah knew who he was. There's a power at work in your life. As long you know who you are as a child of God, there is power at work in your life. And that power is the power of the Holy Ghost that guarantees your victory. There's a grace that delivers victory over every challenge, over every crisis, over every problem you are passing through, delivering victory into your heart. No wonder Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 10. He said, By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not a vain, but I labor more than abundantly than them all, yet not, but but the grace of God which was with me. Hallelujah. It is not the circumstances of life that determine who you are. Mm -mm. As it is not the problem you are going through that determine who you are. It is not that sickness that will determine who you are. It's not that problem you are going through now that will determine who you are. Late to me this morning, if you do not know who you are, challenge will give you a new name. If you don't know who you are, the devil will use you as a, as a football. If you don't know who you are, your problem will give you a new name. In that, if it was challenge, as it was challenge that made him, that made a color woman with the issue, the issue of blood. You see, that challenge swallow his name and they will not, what we know about that was the woman with the issue of blood. It was challenge that made them call him the blood but loving Thomas. It was challenge that made them call him the impotent man. It was challenge that, that made people call me Ume, Dom, me. Challenge. When you do not know who you are, life will give you a new name. And I declare every name that life has given you this morning. I return by that name to back to Satan and I destroy that name from your life. Every name the enemy has given to you today, I, I delete that name in the name of Jesus Christ. The name that God gave to you is what will manifest in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You must know who you are. We don't know who you are as a life we give you in a name. Say to yourself this morning, I know who I am. I know who I am. If I don't know who I am, I will be dead now. Because of challenges that cost my way. But because I know who I am, that gives me power, confidence over who where I am. I'm a being physical in this world. But I'm not in this world. Whatever I'm going through, I am far above it. And in the short term, you will know that I'm far 
above it. Because I know who I am. When you do not know who you are, people will give you a name. But this morning, I've got to tell someone under the sound of my voice that you are victor in Christ. You are victorious in Christ. You can do all things through Christ that's, that we strengthen you. I say you can do all things through Christ. You shall excel in Christ. It is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know who I am. In our test, we see a great man of God called Elijah. Elijah, I'm going to tell you five things about him before we enter into prayer this morning. Number one thing, Elijah sat on top of a hill. You are seated on top of a hill. You are seated, we are seated on top of the hill. You are seated where Jesus is seated. First King, I mean, second King 1 verse 9 said, Then the king said unto him, a captain of fifty with his fifty. And he went up to him and, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill and he spoke unto him, That man of God, come down. You see, that is the intention of your enemy. All they want from you is to make sure they bring you down. But I declare this morning, any man or woman, that start to bring you down. They are the ones that will go down. And when they will go down, when they go down, they will never rise up again. In the name of Jesus, any man or woman in your father's house, in your mother's house, and they and their, and their plan is to bring you down, I said they will go down to rise no more this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the king set his captain and 50 soldiers to accuff Elijah, to drag him away, they found him sitting on top of a hill. A hill is a hill. Many is in the Bible mean a hill is a place of authority. A hill is a place of prayer. It is a place of dominion. A hill is a place of power. When the enemy comes, he should find you on top. Just like when they come to attack us now, they are meeting us. We are on on fire. Pray for pray to God. The enemy came to Elijah. Not only one, fifty. They came to Elijah and they found in, they found Elijah on top. When you when you know who you are, you will know that you are on top. Yes, you are of the world, but you are not of this world. The Bible declared in Ephesians 2 verses and he and has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are not seated on earth here, but you are seated in heavenly places, not with any man, with Jesus. If you know who you are, you will, you will understand that you are seated in every places in Christ Jesus. And when you are seated in every places, whatever that is comfort you now, you are far above it. You are far above that poverty. You are far above that reproach. You are far above whatever challenge that you are going through. You are far above that sickness. You are far above that disease. For you are far above that poverty. You are far above that disappointment. You are far above that discouragement. You are far above every stomach harassment, every of the intimidation. I said you are far above it. Jesus said in John 3, that he once said, He that cometh from above is above all. And God confirmed that with evil means. I was languishing in poverty. But look at now where I am. I'm above poverty. The same person that was a dumb. I'm, I'm not above all those things. No wonder the Bible said, in all those things, we are more than a cockerel. In all those things, we are more than a cockerel. If you are a child of God, then you are above all. You are above whatever that is sitting on you. You are above it. You are already victorious over that situation. 
by the sacrifice of Jesus upon the cross of Calvary, you, are, you, are, you must know who you are, that you are above whatever challenge, whatever crisis, whatever intimidation, whatever harassment, whatever sickness, whatever issue you are going through, you are above it. See this morning, I know who I am. When the enemy come to find Elijah, they find him on top of a hill. You must know where you are seated in Christ. A hill signifies a place of prayer. You cannot be established in victory until you know how to pray. Opposite will be made joy for a night, but joy come in the morning. To those who pray all night, your joy must, must show up. I say your joy must show up. Luke 6, verse 12 to 30 said, And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray, and continually all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them who chose twelve, who also in name apostle list him. You must pray. In Jesus pray. Who are you not to pray? If Jesus pray, who are you not to pray? I, I, you know that this is my weapon. Each time I pray, I have more confidence. I have more confidence. I have authority over the devil and their agent. Jesus took the business of prayer very serious. That's why you are watching me. You must take your, the business of prayer very serious or else the devil will play you as football. He will make you a guinea pig. Hallelujah. He was such a great example of prayer, Jesus, that the only thing that the disciple desired of him was that he should teach them how to pray. The disciple always said Jesus communicated with God every time, every minute he speaking with, with God. And they ask Jesus, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Luke 1 verse 1 said, Luke 11 verse 1 said, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of the disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John, as John Taught a disciple, if you must be victorious, a believer, if you must be on top of the hill, if you must be where Christ says you should be, then you must be a prayer machine. When the enemy came against Elijah, they could not bring him down from here. When you are committed to a life of prayer, no, no power can bring you down. Look at how they have tried to bring me down. And I'm telling you again. My PPA members, I'm in love with you. I am proud of you. You have encouraged me. You have shown me love. When I sit down and the way the devil around, I mean, intimidate us in VPA and we look at him as nothing because we know where we are and we know who we are. Imagine this year alone, we have moved from one place to another, to another, and do you know one thing? The joy of the Lord has not taken over VPA. The joy of the Lord has, is our strength. We are not afraid of what the devil will break. We are not afraid of what he will do next. All we, all we know, we are surrounded. We are, we, we are mute against all his devices. All we know is God in us. We know where we are seated. We know where we are seated. And in a short time, we God is talking us, taking us to I have not seen, yes, I've not heard. Neither it is neither it has ever been revealed to any man or woman where God is taking DPA to. Last night I had a lot of a cutter with God, a lot of a cutter all through the night. That whatever they took from me, God was not. Give them back to me and say, wow, God, you are too much. God, we was, was too much. 
what they get to me they are telling me hold on let's pet it for you let's decorate it for you let me make it look good for you i say wow i say god you are too much whatever the enemy has stolen from you get ready god wants to decorate we take it back and decorate it and give to you and make it a brand new in the mighty name of jesus christ when the enemy come against elijah the could not bring him that from the end. When you when you are committed to a life of prayer, no power can bring you down. That is what we that is why the enemy plan in our life cannot work. They have trapped our miss to make sure VPA does not exist. Patricia worked against us. He used the court. He used all manner of things. But I don't know how they are copyright now. That's why I know that if God be for you, you're your enemy, they are wasting time. When God is on your side, they cannot bring you down. Yes, you can succeed in taking those earthly things, but they cannot succeed in taking the anointing that God has put in you. And what brought all those things? It is the same anointing that brought those things. You must know who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is a kingdom that so far violent. And only the violet that can take it by force. This morning, as you pray with fire, everything that has been resisting your rising in life, they will go down and die by in the name of Jesus. Whatever is resisting your rising, whatever is rising you, this morning, fire from above will come down to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire from above will consume them in the name of Jesus. You must know who you are that one you are seated in heavenly places. You are seated on the hill. Hallelujah. Number two, Elijah knew his enemy. Elijah knew his enemy and knows my enemies. I know them. So King one verse now said, Then the king said unto him, A captain of fifty with fifty, that is hundred. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spoke unto him, That man of God, the king has said, Come down. They know who you are, but you must tell them that you know who you are. Why are they calling him that man of God? Who you know is a man of God? Why do you want to bring him down? Who you know who he is? So every kingdom has a king. Every kingdom has a king, whether in the air, in the land, in the sea. Every standing kingdom has a king behind it. Every challenge that you see, there is a power behind it. Every embarrassment that, that you face, there is a power behind it. Every sickness harassing you, there is a power behind it. Every financial challenge before you, there is a power behind it. If you are facing challenge in your marriage, in your business, in your finance, in your children, in your head, there is a power behind it. This morning, fire will come from heaven to consume any problem behind your challenge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you find it hard to get a job, there's a power behind it. If you find it impossible to get married or to get your husband, there's a power behind it. Whatever you are passing through in life, there's a power behind it. When you deal with that power behind it, that situation we turn, we, we turn around on your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus recognized that there was a power behind the affliction. The woman suffered for 80 years. So, whatever you are passing through to them, there's a power behind it. And that power, they will submit to the authority in the mighty name of Jesus and declare fire from above to consume every power behind your sources, every power behind your victory, every power behind your testimony, every power that has vowed that you will not get married, that they are consumed this morning, they are consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as they are consumed. Yes, Teresa, Chabudam, every power behind whatever you are going through, they will be consumed this morning, they will be consumed, they will be consumed, they will be consumed, they will be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every power 
behind whatever you are going through this morning. I say fire will come from heaven to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire will come from heaven to consume every power behind your children. Every power behind whatever you are going through. Fire will come from heaven to consume all your enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. I say whatever you are passing through in life, there is power behind it. What that Jesus declared in Luke 13, verse 16. You see, I had not not this woman, I, 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 see, that ought not, not this woman be a daughter of Abraham. I had that not the woman whom Satan has branded loose those 80 years be loose from the bound on the Sabbath day. This to me, there's a there's power behind everything that you see happening in this world. All that power, that power want is for you to come down. Look at this, uh, our, our man now, whether we like it or not. Trump. You know, you can't be a man of God to know who, who the heart of God is. Is he Trump? If my, if my uh, president of, of America, is he out there to rise in because he's a guest lesbian, he's a guest gay, he's a guest transgender, once you are a child of God, they will trouble all means to bring you down. But listen to me, if God be for you, who can bring you down? They want, they, they want you to come down from your throne of destiny. They want you to come down from your blessing. They want you to come down from your good head. They want you to come down from the position that God has put you. They want you to come down from prosperity. They want you to come down from breakthrough. They want you to come down from where God has placed you. But I've come to make a decree in the name of Jesus. Every power in your father's house, every power in your, ma your father's house, your, your mother's house, every power in your husband's house, every power that wants you to come down and command them to receive fire. In the name of Jesus, whosoever that has vowed to pull you down, I said they would, that the one that will be pulled down, their children will be pulled down for destruction. Calamity will come upon their own head. What they wish to will come upon their head in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ, Elijah knew this is enemy, and that is why he sat upon his ear. That's why you must all turn to God. When you know that the enemy is after you, they all turn to God. I know that the enemy is after my, my own, my wife. All we know is to all turn to God. The enemy is against my ministry, all we know is to hold that to God. The enemy is not happy with the same children. All we know is to hold that to God. As you hold that to God, God knows how to watch over you. Elijah knew his enemy. That is why he sat upon the hill. The hill is a place of prayer. Because you know who you, your enemy is, you must take your stand and in authority and declare your victory over them. Declare your stand. Elijah understood that there was a power back in the captain and the and the fifty. And when the and when the, the, the enemy came to bring him down from where God has placed him, he commanded from heaven, fire from heaven. Talking in one verse 10 said, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of the fifty, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and the fifty. And there came that fire from heaven and consumed them and his fifty. When the enemy came against Elijah, he told them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume his enemy. And fire came down to consume his enemy, a preserve. There is a fire coming down right now from heaven against every enemy of your destiny. I say fire is coming down against every enemy of your destiny. Wherever they are located, wherever they are, wherever they are, I declare fire to come down and consume every enemy of your soul. Every enemy that has vowed that you not get married, let fire come down to consume them. Every enemy 
again and has vowed that you will not carry your children. Let this fire come down and consume them. Every enemy that has vowed that you will not move forward in life. Let fire from above come down to consume them. Fire consume them. In the name of Jesus, whosoever working against you, every problem behind them be consumed. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say, let fire consume them. If I be a man of God, let fire consume every enemy behind whatever you are going through. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is fire coming down from heaven against every power working against your storm. There is fire coming down from heaven against every affliction in your life. There is fire coming down from heaven against every arrow of the wickedness fired against you. There is fire coming down from heaven against the palm of your foundation right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me stick it to yourself that I know who I am. Declare that, that I know who I am. Elijah knew he was untouchable. He knew he was untouchable. Second King 1 verse 9 said, Then the king said unto him, A captain of 50, with his 50. And he went up to, to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill, and he spoke unto the damn man of God. The king has said, Come down. As long as Elijah remained on the hill, he was untouchable. Listen to what the captain said. That man of God, come down. The enemy cannot kill you until you come down. <coughs> As your enemy cannot kill you until you come down. You must not come down for your enemy. They're the one that will go down. They will go down. Sickness cannot talk, kill you until you come down. The devil cannot touch you until you come down. Your business cannot collapse until you come down. Your finance cannot be attacked until you come down. As long as you remain on top, they cannot get you. You have to come you have to come down before the captain and his fifty can get you. That's the Bible's declared in Psalm 91, verse 1. The he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most arm shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are under the shadow of the Almighty. No weapon from against you can prosper. Nothing can bring you down. Why? Because you are under the shadow. You are dwelling in the shadow of the most our God. The place of ill is a place of divine protection. Understand this. That the enemy could not do anything to a large man as long as he remained with Christ. Or as long as he remained on top of the hill. And so when they came, they told him, come down. But turn to yourself right now. Say, I know who I am. Say, I know who I am. As long as you remain on the hill of God, as long as you are you are bad in the secret place of the most high, as long as you are connected to Jesus, you are untouchable. You are untouchable. You are untouchable. Hallelujah. You are untouchable. How do you know? Look at all that I've gone through. Oh, uh, what all that I've, I've gone through in life. I still remain stronger. The more the problem, the more I remain stronger. The more the harassment of the enemy, the more I feel very secure. I feel very strong in Christ. As long as you remain on the hill of God, as long as you are bad in the secret place of the Most High God, as long as you are connected to Jesus, you are untouchable. You are untouchable. Hallelujah. Say, I know who I am. I know who I am. Elijah know who he was, and he com Elijah commanded fire. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty. If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and the fifty. And there came that fire from heaven and consumed and the fifty. One of the ways by which God read that judgment upon the enemy is by fire. Is by fire. There are things that that will not leave you until fire come down to consume them. There are challenges that will not bow until they are consumed by fire. There are situations that cannot surrender until you command fire in to them. It is what you call that will answer to you. Will the enemy call 
against Elijah. He committed fire to come down from heaven and consume them. And the Bible says that God responded and set fire from heaven upon the captain and his fifty. Let me say it again. There are power that will not leave you alone unless you call fire to consume them. There are power for your foundation that will not let you go unless you call you separate yourself with the, by fire. We live in the days of judgment. The only language that the enemy of your death, of, of this generation understand is judgment of God. Elijah said to the people in First King eighteen twenty four, "I call ye on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of my Lord, and the God that I, that, that answered by fire, let it be my God." I know the people answered and said, "It is well spoken." God is is a God that answered by fire. And this morning, he will answer your enemy by fire. This morning, I don't know who is after you, but I decree every stubborn problem that I've said that they will not let you go, I command fire upon them. Every enemy that is after you, the fire of God will consume them. I call fire from heaven to consume whosoever that is waging war against you. Every power of your foundation that has been said that they will not let you go. I call fire down to consume them. I call fire from heaven to consume them in the name of Jesus. Every power from your father's house that have said that they will not let you go. This morning I separate you by fire. Every power that has been assigned to bring you down will declare with total separation from your life. Total separation. We call that fire to consume them. We call that fire to consume them. In the name of Jesus, pray along with me. Say, I know who I am. Say, I know who I am. Psalm 97 verse 3 said, A fire go before him and burn it up his enemy round about. When you know who you are, you will understand that there is a fire that goes in front of you to consume your enemy. I declare, whosoever, whosoever would you war against you, I command fire from heaven to consume them. Fire consume them. Fire consume them. Every man, every woman that's after your sources that has vowed that you will not move forward. I command call that fire from heaven to consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God has made his age to be spirit, but, but, but he created you to be a fire. <coughs> you may look like a man, but you may walk like a man. You may dress like a man, but in the realm of the spirit, you are a fire. So you must always be on fire. Charge the battery of your prayer until you become a fire that bonded your enemy right about. The reason Elijah could command fire upon the captain and the fifty was because he himself was a fire. This morning, God himself shall recharge you. And all your enemy, they will be consumed with the fire of God. Any man or woman that will stretch forth his heart towards you, they will be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be consumed. Your enemy, they will go down for your sake. Elijah killed his enemy. Elijah kills his enemy. First King 1, 16-17 And he said unto them, Thus said the Lord, for as much as thou hast sent a messenger to inquire of the Baal Zeba, the god of Karo, at it is not because there is no god in Israel to inquire of this word. Therefore, thou shalt come down off the bed on which thou hast gone up, but shall surely die. <coughs> so he died according to the word of the Lord which Elijah has spoken. The final thing that the story teaches us is that Elijah killed the kings who set the captain and their fifty against him. There are some things that will not let you go unless they are dead. This morning, declare, whosoever that has to die, my miracle to manifest, what are you waiting for? Commanded to die. Whosoever that has to die for me to see Jesus, 
What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Every error that has to die for me to see Jesus. What are you waiting for? Command them to die. Command whatever I have to die for you to testify. Prayer, prayer, commanded to die. Whatever I have to go down for me to see Jesus, what are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. Call that fire from heaven to kill all your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As long as Pharaoh was alive, he would never allow Israel to go. So God has to kill him. As long as Gralat was alive, he would keep on be a terror to the children of Israel. So God has to kill him. As long as error was still alive, he would keep on be a problem to the church. So God has to kill him. There are many people, there are some people that are, that are swore that they cannot be allowed to see you in the land of the living. Any man or woman that has vowed, I can't be alive to see you succeeding. I can't be alive to see you progressive. Any man, any woman that have that in their mind, let heaven, let, let, let's call that fire from heaven to consume them. Let fire come them to consume them. Let fire come down to consume them. Anyone that said they will not be alive, they will not be alive. Let they die by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has sworn with his life that they cannot be alive to see you carry your children. What are you, what are they waiting for? Let they die by fire. Any man that said they will not be alive to see you progressing. Let they die by fire. Whosoever that is working against you, whosoever that is behind them, command fire, command fire, command fire, command fire, command the Holy Ghost fire to come upon them in the name of Jesus. Command fire upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If Elijah pray, you must pray. If Jesus could pray, you must pray. See, there's a power that has vowed that that problem must not cease. The Bible tells us in Acts 23, verse 20 to 21 said, and he said, the Jews have agreed to desire thee, and thou wouldest break you down, Paul, to, to, tomorrow into the castle. And though they would require so what of him more perfectly, but do not yield unto them. For they lie, for, for they slide in wait for him of him more than forty men, which have bothered themselves with an oath, and they will neither eat nor drink until they have killed him. Imagine people people who said I will not eat, they they they, they took oath that we will not eat until they see you die. Forty may bother themselves with an oath that they will not eat and drink until they have seen the death of Paul. Any man who has swore that they cannot remain alive to see that it is well with you, what are they, what are they waiting for? We command obituary on them. Any man that has said they will not be alive to see it is well with you, command obituary upon them. Command God's judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that any man that has vowed and that, I will not be, that they will not be alive <clears throat> to see you carry your children. Command God's judgment. Command fire from above upon them. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Any man that has vowed that they will not be alive to see me progressing, to see my ministry flourishing, to see me succeeding. Command fire from above upon them. Command God fire to consume them. Command fire from above to consume them in the name of Jesus. Don't wait for the enemy to destroy you. Destroy your enemy. I said, don't wait for your enemy to destroy you. Destroy them before they get to you. The same king who sent me to Elijah. Elijah went in and killed him. I have come to tell someone that every arrow of the enemy set against you shall go back to Seda this morning and kill their owner. In the mighty name of Jesus, all those who do not want you to rise up, they shall fall down for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who plan evil against you, they shall use their head to carry that evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they are, they will use their head to carry evil, that evil, in the name of Jesus. The king set men to break <coughs> Elijah down. But what happened? When Elijah came down, he went to the king and signed his obituary. This morning, we are signing the obituary 
of our enemy. Anyone they want to bring us down, we are signing the obituary in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Any power they want to bring you down, we are signing the obituary in the name of Jesus Christ. Ben is come, we are signing the obituary of your enemy this morning in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is behind your issue, we are signing the obituary this morning in the name of Jesus. Say, I sign the obituary of my enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Those who want you to come down, they are one, the one that will come down in the name of Jesus. And when they come down, they shall never rise up again in the name of Jesus. You must know who you are in Christ and decree whatever trouble you today, my God will trouble them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever afflict you, my God will begin to afflict them in the name of Jesus. What is your expectation from God this morning? In what way have you placed a demand on this anointing? I don't know what you are believing God for, but this morning, when, when you know who you are, you can command every visitation to intervene in your matter. What is that thing that is troubling you? You can say, enough is enough this morning. The Lord will do it for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which you are trusting God for today, He will deliver them into your heart. He will deliver that victory to your heart. In the name of Jesus, as to pray this morning with authority, you will get that result, express result. In the name of Jesus, this morning I see God fighting the battle of your life in order to give you victory that will bring glory to His name. All in the mighty name of Jesus, what is that name? That challenge, that issue. That request, that stubborn situation that has brought you before the Lord. Yes, you can say it enough is enough this morning. It is time for God to answer every stubborn problem in your life by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil like it or not, your level must change in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether they like it or not, the plan of God must manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Oh Lord, I thank you because this morning, that the backbone of every stubborn situation in my life are broken. For that destroy the backbone of my enemy in the name of Jesus. I call heaven, I call fire from heaven to consume anyone that is working against me. Anyone behind any problem in my life. Anyone behind my ministry. Anyone behind my marriage. Anyone behind all that causes me. Command fire to consume them. Command fire to consume them. Command fire. To consume them, come out fire to consume them. Say I decree every related double problem be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every problem I've inherited from my parents, I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy them by the name that's above every other name. I command every effect of names from or evil original in my life to be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Say I decree every stubble arrow of rejection and hatred fire into my life. What are you waiting for? Command it to be uprooted. Command it to be uprooted and return back to Saddam in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stubborn ring of trouble falling on me. Command the rain to draw up. <coughs> Command the rain to draw up in the name of Jesus. Every stone of affliction in my life. Command it there to be uprooted. Command it to be uprooted. Every stone of affliction in my life. Be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, and be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Go back to sell your Saddam in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Look. Look, tell verse 37. Behold, I give all to you. Let me get an handkerchief. Pure mouth. She be Bible said in this word, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies or you. See, I crush the head of every stubborn problem in my life. I crush the head of every stubborn problem in my life. I crush the head of every stubborn Double problem in my life, and I command them to die by fire. I command them to die by fire. Every serpent in my life, I crush your head. I command you to die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, Bible declares 4 verse 7. So, who are that O great mighty before Pastor Alex, that shall be called plain. And the name of Jesus, every stubborn mighty of hindrance, every mighty of hindrance. 
Oada commanded to be level every mountain of a possibility that is matted in me. Command the mountain to be level. Command that mountain <coughs> of barrenness to be level. Command the mountain of poverty in your life to be level. Command the mountain of sickness to be level. Command that mountain of impossibility in your life to be plain right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, command it to be plain. Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Let God arise for you this morning and let all your enemy be scattered. Wherever they have gathered, let God arise and let all your enemies scatter. Let God arise and let all your enemies scatter. Wherever they have gathered in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your wife's house, in your other house, wherever they have gathered against you, let God arise. Let them scatter. Let God arise on your prayer this morning. Let all your enemies be scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Wherever they will gather in the land, let them scatter. Wherever they will gather in the sea, let them scatter. Wherever they will gather in wherever they will gather, let God arise and scatter them. In the name of Jesus, I decree. Wherever they have gathered for evil against you, as they let God arise, let them scatter. In the name of Jesus, every chain, every rope, every iron used to cage your destiny, I command it to be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 68. Verse to say, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away as was as meted before fire. Let them be meted in the name that they will be perished at the presence of God. They are command the fire of God to locate them and destroy their weapon release against me. Fire of God, locate all my enemy, destroy their weapon release against me. Fire of God, destroy all my enemy, wherever they are. Let God arise. And let them scatter. Let God arise. Let them scatter. Oh Lord, arise on my behalf. Oh Lord, arise on my behalf. Oh Lord, arise on my behalf. Oh Lord, arise on the behalf of my followers. Let God arise. Let the enemy, the enemy scatter. Let God arise and let the enemy scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God arise and let the enemy scatter. Romans 16, verse 27. And the God of peace which puts it down under your face shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Uh, say, let the enemy of my promotion, the enemy of my advancement, the enemy of my miracle, let them be crushed right now. Every enemy of my sources, let them be crushed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy of my prosperity, let them be crushed in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my ministry, let them be crushed in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of of the matrimony, let them be crushed in the name of Jesus. Let them be crushed. Let them be crushed. Let them be crushed. Every enemy of my children, let them be crushed in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my life, what are you waiting for? I say, come down and die by fire. Let heaven be let fire from heaven be opened up and swallow you. Let God arise and scatter wherever they will gather against me. Let God arise. Let God scatter them in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ, let the enemy of my promotion, the enemy of my investment, be crushed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every trap of the devil planning against me, catch your owner, catch them in the name of Jesus. Every trap they have set to catch me, come and command the trap to catch them. Let the trap catch them. Every pit the enemy is digging for me, command the owner, the one to dig them of the pit. To fall to that pit in the name of Jesus. What they wished me, let they use their head to carry it. Whatever the enemy has wished me, let they use their head to carry it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that fire of God to answer every arrow of the enemy fired against me. How I command the fire of God to answer every arrow of the enemy fired against me in the mighty name of Jesus. Job 22 28 said, That shall also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the Lord shall shine upon thy way and decree all that concerns you in the heart of the strong man and lose them and go and possess your possession. All oh, my viewers this morning, go and possess your possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and possess your possession and lose all that concerns you from the heart of the evil strong man in the name of Jesus and I lose them and I declare as many that are viewing me now, as many 
Watch me now. Go and possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Go and possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anna, Anna, Okomo, go and possess your possession. Dala de Manu, go and possess your possession. Yeah, Adela Jesus, go and possess your possession. Go and possess your possession. Usalom, uh, my, my son, go up, present the position. Pamela, go up, present the position. Estalufa, go up, present the position. Christian, go up, present the position. Sonia Matthew, go up, present the position. Grace William, go up, present the position. In the name of Jesus Christ, for student, go up, present the position. In the name of Jesus, Linda, Udukti, go up, present the position. In the name of Jesus. Pamela, go up, possess your possession. Femina, Obesagi, go up, possess your possession. Asusoni, go up, possess your possession. Sanfugam, go up, possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. Valerie, I go up, possess your possession. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A God only from, go up, possess your possession. This money, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mechelly Clark, go up, possess your possession. In the mighty name of Jesus. Innocent, go up, possess your possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be cabin. Go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. As many watching me now, to be honest, go up, possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Double robot, go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Christian Usalu, go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Esther Alufa, go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Pastor Vivian Osarem. Oh, sorry, my win. Go up, possess your possession. Mojin Sholam, go up, possess your possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am about old Go up, possess your possession. Jane, June Dazim, go up, possess your possession. Mazuan Ketcho, go up, possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. Grace William, go up, possess your possession. Toki Uluwashayin, go up, possess your possession. Go up, Kare D. Everstrong, Go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. George Laboga, 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 go up, possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Rehab, go up, possess your possession. As many, dream me right now, go up, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. I say, I decree that all that causes you in the heart of evil struggle, man, I lose them right now. I say, go up, possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Ben Ezekom, go up, possess your possession, minister. Go up, possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many watching me now, go up, possess your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 8, verse 9 said, Associate yourself, O ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ye, O ye of faculty, guard yourself, you shall be broken in pieces. Wherever your enemy will gather, they are broken into pieces right now in the name of Jesus. I decree every evil as well. Sure. And I've taken up your matter as the agenda. Let God arise this morning and scatter them. Let God arise and give them a job that will make them forget you. Let God arise and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Every monetary device that is being used to monitor your progress and command them to be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the fire of God to locate and bury on any one of us bear your blessing let the fire of god locate this morning in the mighty name of jesus i decree whatever is being used as a point of contact to manipulate your staff for evil let them be destroyed by fire let god arise let them scatter in the name of jesus every evil list that carry your name what are they waiting for i command the list to be to catch fire to catch fire to catch fire in the name of jesus Fire of God exposed and disgrace all stubborn enemy manipulating themselves as your friends. Let God expose them. Let God expose your enemy. So, oh Lord, expose my enemy. Oh Lord, expose my enemy. All my friendly friend, all my friendly friend. Oh Lord, expose them in the name of Jesus. I decree. Let every financial failure in my life be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every financial failure in my life. Be frustrated. Go to pray with authority this morning. Say, whatsoever, whatsoever, every power of darkness 
Tracy my destiny for evil, commanded to be consumed. Commanded to be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever, whosoever, every power of darkness, tracing my destiny for evil, be consumed, be consumed, be consumed, be consumed right now, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be consumed in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of disgrace fall upon every evil prophet contacted against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil prophet that they have been contacted against me, every prophet they have taken my name to, every fetish man of God they have taken my name to, I command the fire of disgrace to fall on them. Let the fire of disgrace fall on them. Wherever they have taken my name to, I decree, let the fire of God fall upon every evil prophet contacted against me in the mighty name of Jesus, I command all my prison, all my prison and buried potential to come alive, to come alive, all my potentials come alive, all my potential that is buried, I command you to come alive, all my potential that the enemy has buried, come alive, come alive, come alive in the mighty name of Jesus, all the potential come alive in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, I am lifted above every negative situation in the mighty name of Jesus, I am lifted above every negative problem I am going through, I am lifted above you in the name of Jesus, say Jesus over to you this morning in the name of Jesus, say I reject every evil load placed on me and I decree that because you right now, every evil load Please on me, I see the top to say that I be consumed. Go and kill your owner in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go and destroy your owner. Say I decree and I shall experience a divine on rod from henceforth. I will experience a divine on rod from henceforth in the name of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus, I command all my money that was caged by the enemy to be loosed by fire. All my money that was caged by the enemy be loosed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft, bewitchment, and bondage used to burn my head and fit for progressing. What are you waiting for? I lose myself. I lose myself. I lose myself. I lose myself in the mighty name of Jesus. Commanded to be loose. Commanded to be loose. Commanded to be loose. Commanded to be loose in the name of Jesus. Commanded to be loose in the name of Jesus. Christ. I decree every arrow. Fight against your destiny that takes away from you your heritage. I command the arrow to be uprooted from your life in the name of Jesus. From today, walk into your supernatural lifting. Go and walk into your supernatural miracle in the name of Jesus. You are victorious according to the release of the word of God. I say you are victorious according to the release of the word of God. You are victorious in the name of Jesus. Therefore, a lifting that you never expected is coming to you. A breakthrough you never expected is locating you. A miracle you never expected will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, it will locate you. But this divine visitation, every chain of the enemy in your life is here by broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, this morning, whatever holds your destiny in bondage, this morning you are loosed. In the name of Jesus, I say you are loosed from that bondage. In the name of Jesus, I decree every power that is posturing destruction in your destiny. I command them to be destroyed. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow commanded against you from your father's house. I command the arrow to turn around and destroy their owner in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ, I decree every potential in your life that has been caged, I command it to manifest, manifest, manifest in the name of Jesus. This morning, the power of God will come on you to empower you to do what you could not do before. It's coming upon you right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. What you could not do, what the enemy say is impossible, go and do it now. Go and carry your baby. Go and break through now. Go and become what God said you will become. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is your, your time, your season of supernatural victory. Therefore, this morning, you will experience a divine intervention that will lift you from the floor of defeat to the realm of ego. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will cause you to receive a double promotion that will catapult you from this level in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning I decree every around 
harassment of the enemy over your business, over your finance, over your head, over your marriage, your project, your ministry, come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever is covering your life, whatever is covering your life that is not allow your destiny ever to locate you, is hereby destroyed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever wrathful belongs to you, your job, your business, your breakthrough, your connection, your healing, your divine head that the enemy took away from you, I command it to be returned back to you, be returned back to you, be returned back to you in the name of Jesus. I know I'm not seeing it this morning. To the AKs, make sure you are there on Friday. Go to sleep between. Make sure you are there on Friday for impartation. To the AKs, I don't know why. I don't know what God said. I don't know what it just came to me now. Make sure everyone watching me be on ground on Friday for a special impartation. I'm telling you, Satan has faded again in your life. The enemy has faded. He has faded. He has faded. He has faded. This on Friday, please. Take it serious. If possible, if you are attending that job, you cannot die. Take that night off. If you are attending, take that night off for this Friday. I don't know what God wants to do about your life. I had it. I have not seen, I have not seen such thing. But when God led me to do to say such thing, He want to prevent things that we, that is not good what to happen. Make sure you are there on Friday for this night of deliverance and night of a petition. Charlie, to the AKS, I don't know why. Hallelujah. I declare whatever I feel belongs to you, your job, your business, your breakthrough, your connection, your healing, your divine aid that the enemy took away from you, I command it start return back to you and they return back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mystery of this world, you will begin to make progress. <coughs> you begin to make progress in the name of Jesus. This is your season. This, this season in your life shall be for you a season of making progress, a season of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. But this is a petition of the Holy Spirit. What you are lifted from every embarrassment, you are lifted from every harassment of the enemy. I say you are lifted from that sickness. You are lifted from that affliction. You are lifted right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You rise up from every affliction, rise up from the embarrassment. Rise off from the intimidation. That problem comes to an end this morning. That your issue comes to an end this morning. I decree that from effort, God will position you to be in the right place at the right time for your success, for your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, receive a divine intervention right now. In every area you need divine intervention, receive it right now. Any area you need divine intervention, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare whatever touched you will touch God in the name of Jesus. Therefore, whatever brought to me before the Lord this morning, that situation, that request, that intervention, that deliverance, that healing, that prayer, that application, that proposal, that challenge, that issue that has made you to come and seek his face money by the power of this Holy Spirit of the Holy Ghost, by the covenant in the blood of Jesus, I decree a divine solution right now. As we step out of this prayer meeting, I decree that things will begin to work for you supernaturally. It shall work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Say Jesus over to you. In Jesus' name. What a mighty God we serve. I'm seeing it again. I'm seeing it very clear. I see, I see, um, I see keys of houses adding, adding over to you keys of houses. Please, key to it, key to it. Your time to bother us has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's time. See what happened a few years, few months ago. It was just three months ago. I was in church. I said, I saw keys of brand new cars. After talking now, more than eight people have bought the new cars. Top cars. And that's why I'm seeing, I'm seeing keys of houses added over to you. You may not have money, but go and get the house. What if, because you have God. When you have God, you can acquire anything. It's God that all you need. That all you need is God, not the money, not the cash. All you need is God, but you know God. That house is possible. The miracle is possible. I love you. The Savior, your time has come. And as many that are watching me, 
and they, but they are not showing up and they love the ministry but father still bless them but anyone that is watching us walking against me fire from heaven we come upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ but if you are watching to be blessed to know god the more every will open up for you but every monetary demon try to monitor this ministry fire we come down from heaven to consume you every monetary demon try to monitor my members in this platform fire we call that for you every scammer that want to scam a member in this platform fire we come that for you in the mighty name of jesus christ no evil will come near all my followers in the name of jesus i declare good news galore to locate all my followers in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah chris adra baya your time has come you know your time has come what the mighty god we serve thank god this morning for this new week I declare every good things attached to this week. Divine favor, divine connection, divine sources, every good things attached to this week. I declare that they come to you expressly. In the name of Jesus, no evil will come near you but good news. In the name of Jesus, always know that I love you, but God loves you more. See you, see you tomorrow, for enough is enough. Please, if you are watching me, share the broadcast, love it, um, like it, and comment on it. Your time has come. Preach the good, preach the good news. Share, tell people to watch testimony. They are man blue testimony. You know, look at the ones yesterday. How many put that broadcast? That broadcast only a word from God. They bought meat, meat cars. Not that you can show it. No, no. Show it. But the mighty God we serve. There's no name at the nomination, but God knows you. Lauren, Grace, every is open up for you. In the name of Jesus, Robert, Patrick, I've not met you for long. I want to see you. Your time has come. Patrick, Robert, I love you. Your time has come. I know every yesterday, God reminded me of you yesterday when I came from church. Make sure you don't joke with God. It's all you need, Robert. God is all you need, please. Rem come, remain in his presence. Your time has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you all. And please share this good news. Share the good news. Advertise the good news. And if you are led to sow to the church, every will be open up for you. In the name of Jesus, the church need your you at in need your finance and i'm telling you everything will be open up for you in the name of jesus christ what a mighty god we serve hallelujah god of possibility that's my god thank you jesus the time has come god delay your time has come because Sandra Baya, the time has come. Thank you, Jesus. Angela, Jesus, I missed you. Love you, the time has come. Maybe I do bless you. Yes. Melinam, Eretta, bless you. Yes, Peter Mubuze, bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Dazin, Joe, bless you. Tao, Jayem, my daughter, bless you. Every is open up for you, the name of Jesus. Your time has come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't us. Titi, but uh, his daughter blessed you. Bless you, Titi. My brother too, bless you. God will do it. God will sit in my retail in the name of Jesus. Cornelian, your time has come. There is nothing impossible. There is nothing impossible. There is nothing impossible.
there is nothing impossible unto you father do it for the love of my children Amaka, Pamela all of them do it for them because we know there is nothing impossible unto you all my viewers Lord do it for them because we know there is imp nothing is impossible before you I said over to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus love you Share it, love it, comment on it. Your time has come. I love you, and I will see you same time tomorrow. Love you for life. Uh, thank you, Jesus.